trig identity. So first thing we can do is we can do one convert this into their simplest components. So this just becomes cosine x and this cancels out. And we got one over cosine x sine of x minus cotangents cosine of x over sine of x. If we convert this again, or if we get a common denominator, we get one minus cosine squared x over cosine x. And the reason why it does x is because I put a cosine x on the bottom here and this becomes cosine squared x. So this can be converted into uh, sine squared x on top using this property over cosine x sine x. Cancel one of these and we get sine of x over cosine x which is equal to the tangent x. And that's it. Alrighty. I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video and you have yourself a great day.